Hello everyone, this is Automatic, and I know what you're thinking. Yes, this is the second video to the 100 subscriber special. These next three videos will be top tens. The first video, which is this one, is my top ten favorite steam locomotives. The second video will be my top ten favorite diesel locomotives. And the third video will be my top 10 favorite electric locomotives. So now that we've said that, let's get into this video of my top 10 favorite steam, it, steam trains. Number 10. Granite Rock number 10. This locomotive is probably not the most well-known locomotive in the US, but I'm pretty sure it's a well-known surviving tank engine in the US. The reason I like this locomotive is because it was featured in the 2010 Steamfest film and it became a and it became one of my favorite engines. When I then looked up its history, it was very interesting to hear about its history. But the one thing I really like about this locomotive is its chuffing noise. If you were to say like, what steam engine has one of the best sounding chuffing noises? I'd say it would be this locomotive. To give an example, here's what the locomotive's chuffing sounds sound like. Number 9. Nickel Plate Road 765. This locomotive is a fan favorite to to many many rail fans, including me, because this is what I would call a classic American locomotive. Maybe. I first discovered this locomotive in Train Simulator and I was amazed by it. When I looked when I looked up the locomotive's history, I was surprised to hear that it met up with one of its twins that was also famous, aka Nickel Plate Road 759. Seeing two of the same engines together and both being excursion stars makes this locomotive special. It's definitely a great locomotive. However, however though, I put this locomotive at number 9 for a reason, which I'll explain later. But either way, the locomotive is great, and, um, yeah, it's a great locomotive. I don't know what else to say about it. Number 8. Union Pacific 3985. 
You all knew this was going to be on the list, didn't you? Who doesn't love the 3985? Anyways, the reason why I like the 3985 is because of it of is because of the history. It was an amazing example of Union Pacific Engineering. In 1991, it pulled 143 fully loaded intermodal cars, which amazed me. It also mimicked two other challengers, which were Clinchfield 676 and the historical 3967. It did run for a long time until 2010 when it was put into storage due to a uh, problem with the firebox. Anyways. Anyways. Um. The 3090, the 3095 hasn't run for almost a whole decade, but I hope it gets fixed up and it and gets and is put back on the track and, and it, I'm hoping that it's it gets back up and running again. Hopefully they get it. Um, hopefully they hopefully they'll start. Um, hopefully they'll start the rebuild of it. And it'll be back up and running again soon. So can't wait to see that engine back up and running again, especially with a 844 and 4014. Hopefully, we'll do a triple header. That would be amazing. Number seven. Chesapeake in Ohio, 2716. This locomotive is one of my newer favorite locomotives that I've started to like. This locomotive is interesting because of its history with excursion service. However, the reason why I like this locomotive more than 765 is because, well, this locomotive used to have fame before 765 took this locomotive's place in the spotlight of fame. It was like this. Either replace 2716's expired tubes or give 765 a complete rebuild. They of course chose the second option. And I understand why, but I feel like someone should have at least gave 2716 some notice rather than just put it back on display and just well at least I at least saved the at least the when it was put on display it at least saved the locomotive from, you know, possible scrap but or yeah or having to sit in storage for a long time but either way it was put back on display in 2001 up until now when I actually heard that the locomotive was going to be restored um it, it recent back in uh, I think July it was towed back. It was towed to a um, a shop where it will be restored. And oh, 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 am I excited for that! I can't wait to see that locomotive up and running. However, though, my one thing I hope though is I'm hoping when it's restored, I'm hoping that 2716 will actually be doing a double header with 765. I can't wait to see it run again. I think it's being, I think it's, I think, um, I think they said that the CSX volunteered to help out, so hopefully we can see it running again soon. <laughs> Number six.
Pennsylvania Railroad, 1361. Probably another fan favorite by most rail fans. 1361 is perhaps my favorite Pennsylvania Railroad locomotive. I don't, I don't know why, but it is. This locomotive was originally an excursion locomotive for Conrail, I believe, when it was restored back in uh, the 1980s. And, um, yeah. Also, I think what's also interesting is how surprising, it's surprising to see how long its restoration is taking. I think they said, I think they said the restoration has been taking for over, it's been taking over three decades to be completed due to like problems with trying to, you know, get that locomotive up and running again. From what I heard, the boiler apparently needs complete, needs a complete rebuild. Um, so, yeah, there's that. But hopefully it'll be back up and running again sometime in the two, sometime in the 2020s. I really hope that locomotive gets fixed, or restored soon. It's such a nice looking locomotive, and I want to see it operate again. <laughs> Three decades. Three decades! Three decades! Jeez! But, like I said before, let's just let them try and get it restored as fast as they can, and hopefully we'll see it up and running again soon. Can't wait to see it run again soon. <laughs> Can't wait to see it run again. But that'll not be for another, for another like, couple of years, because I've seen it. I've seen video of it recently and it's uh it still needs to be put back together so yeah hopefully uh we'll see it running again hopefully sometime in the future in the 2020s fun fact the way i actually discovered this locomotive is actually from um i actually discovered it from thunderbolt 1000 siren productions his profile picture for his youtube channel so there you go. There's a you learn something new. Number five. Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe, 3415. Oh boy, where do I start with this one? Okay, let me start out with this one. Let me start out with a sentence like this. Okay. This locomotive is amazing. I first saw this locomotive on a restoration film on TV way back in 2010 when I was a when I was a child, a much younger child. It was showing the whole restoration of this locomotive from its moving in 1996, its restoration in from 2005 to 2009. And its first run since 1956. I was blown away by this locomotive's amazing story. 3415 is one beautiful locomotive, and and that I call and and 
and that is all I can say about it. It's an amazing locomotive. And when I first saw that the videos for its restoration were back up on were on YouTube, I was getting real nostalgia from it because I had not seen it for a long time, and I just wanted to I wanted to see it again. I would go out there and just get the DVD, but it's on the other side of the of where I it's on the other side of like the US and um well I don't like to go out to places that that are that far so um yeah that probably might not happen but I guess I maybe could order it from off like um you know but all I could say 3415 is an amazing locomotive and is probably my favorite Santa Fe steam engine. I love the 3415. It's not my favorite, of course, but it's it's close to being one of the, my favorite locomotives. It's my favorite Santa Fe locomotive, but it's not my most favorite locomotive. <sighs> it's a great locomotive. Number four. Union Pacific 844. Yes, of course this one was going to be on here. Who doesn't love the 844? This locomotive is amazing with its history being possibly and being possibly very interesting for being possibly the only steam locomotive possibly in the world or at least the US to ne that has never been retired in its life which makes it very interesting and um, it's perhaps one of the most recognizable locomotives in the world also hearing that um also hearing that this locomotive had a number change because of a diesel locomotive was also interesting how it was once called the 844 but then was renumbered as the 8444 until 1989 but there's one thing that made that made me really like this engine a lot it's actually something that um <laughs> It's something I saw on the on YouTube. It's a, it's I, I saw it on someone's channel. It's a great channel. I even follow the, I, this guy. Um, he makes um a series called Union Pacific X, and um, the um the eight he uses the 844 in that in that series, and he actually calls 844 Lexi. And in fact, um, just to show you, here's one of the pictures. That um that was created um for the um the series or at least for the character um and actually I make I made this part I wanted to include this because um yesterday um well when I'm when I was saying this I don't know when this will actually come out but um I actually was following um. Okay, well, the YouTuber's name, his, he's no, he goes by Amethyst Productions, and, um, well, I decided that I would give him, um, I promised to him that I would actually give him a shout out in this, in the, in this video. Um, so, Amethyst, if you're watching this, you're welcome for the, you got your shout out. Um, and, um, Yeah, I was watching a, a live stream he was doing the other day, and um, 
I was asking him some questions. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking about it. I actually was, I actually asked one question to him that he made just sound just just wrong. It's <laughs> I know. Say JK. You started yelling right at me. I didn't even hear you say JK. <laughs> okay, let me try this instead. Do you think Game Pacific 69 nice 36 will be in UPX? <laughs> You need to go see that that, that um, live stream on his channel. Uh, I'll leave a um a link to his channel in the description if you guys want to go check out his channel. And uh, yeah, um, I amethyst, uh, you're welcome that you got your shout out. Oh, and also he also asked me if he could also do a shout out if um if I could do a shout out for another person. Um, to, so. Uh, Um, he'd like to also give me a, he also liked me to give a shout out to another YouTuber called Nevada. So, um, Amethyst Productions and Nevada, you got your shout outs. So, um, I'll leave, in fact, I'll be, I'll leave both their channels in the, I'll bring, I'll leave a link to both their channels in the description, in the description below. So, yeah. Um, Yeah, I just, um, the reason, that's just, um, yeah, so, sorry, I'm just, um, I actually was surprised that yesterday he actually gave me a shout out on his, on his live stream and I was flipping out. I was excited as hell because I actually, for the first time, I actually got a shout out from a YouTuber. I literally was flipping out. I was <laughs> sorry. I'm I'm going on a bit too much about this. So um, yeah, Amethyst and um, Nevada, you're welcome. You got your shoutouts. Um, and if you're watching this video, um, comment in the comment down below and say um thank you so that way I know that you um. Like say thank you for the shout out because um I pro I made a promise that I would give you two sh that I would give you two um a shout out so you're welcome guys but anyways yeah the um that's why I um that's the reason why I like the 844 and I put it at number four the other three but the but it, but of course it couldn't top the uh, the next three um, alright, so now, um, we're down to the top three, um, of my favorite locomotives, so, let's, um, let's continue and see the number, th the, the top three, um, favorite steam engines. Number three. Union Pacific 4014. Okay, this one I'm sure someone out there is probably asking why this is at number three and not number one well that's because the next two engines hold a special place in my heart I'm not saying I don't like 4014 in fact I love it but I but it just couldn't compete with the next two engines 4014 is a great engine and I am so glad that they actually managed to get a big boy running again. Something that most people didn't think was possible. It was such a thing to see, and 
I don't think anything else could possibly beat this thing. It's the largest and strongest steam engine to ever operate, and it's great to see one running again. It's a thing of beauty. And you just can't you just can't deny it. It's impossible to to just it's it's impossible to deny a big boy. But yes, either way I love the big boy and I think I'm pretty sure a lot of people will agree with me because <laughs> the amount of fame that big boy has gotten in such a short amount of time. Holy crap. Long live the big boy. Long live the big boy. Number two. East Tennessee in Western North Carolina, number 12. Or simply, Tweetsie, number 12. To be specific, this is my favorite narrow gauge steam engine and is the first steam locomotive that I've ever actually seen in person. I've only seen it in person twice, and I'm planning to see see it a third time in 2020 um, during the Heritage Weekend event. This engine, it holds a special place in my heart simply because it's the first steam engine I've ever seen in person, and it's just a beautiful sight. I don't know what else to say about it. But of course, it's not my number one favorite steam engine. However, though, we're, we are about to learn what my number one favorite steam engine is. However, but however, though, before we actually hear my number one favorite steam engine... Here are some honorable mentions for some steam engines that I like, but don't have a reason for why I like them. Norfolk and Western 611. Norfolk and Western 1218. Union Pacific 5511. Union Pacific 9000. Southern Pacific 4294. And Spokane, Portland, and Seattle number 700. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for. The number one pick for my favorite steam engine. Number one. Southern Pacific 4449. This engine has to be a huge rail fan favorite upon many including me. This engine is what got me into loving trains so much. It started back in 2008 when I was very young. I was watching TV and my dad recorded a um what I assume was a documentary on TV 
that showed the sequence of the celebration of <clears throat> of the Los Angeles Union Passenger Terminal 50th anniversary special. Well, I don't know, special. But anyways, I saw the locomotive in there, 4449, and at the time I didn't know, but apparently also um. 844 was also in there, but I didn't realize that until after, until much later on. But either way, it was very rec it was very easy to to know what 4449 looked like. I mean, it was very recognizable with its red and orange colors. Then later, when I, when I learned about the engine, I then discovered that it was actually used on an event on a, um, a special event called the American Freedom Train, well, a special train called the American Freedom Train, which was used to, um, celebrate, um, <clears throat> to celebrate America's 200th birthday. I started to like, I started to like the locomotive even more, and then, of course, um, I, I, um, when I first got Train Simulator back in 2016, I realized that it was that 4449 was in Train Simulator, and I was really excited about that. <clears throat> I when I saw it, I was like, I have to get it, I gotta get it, and of course I got it. And then later on, which actually was more recently, I then discovered that the that the locomotive was featured in the movie Tough Guys 1986. When I realized that, I was I was amazed of how fa how much fame the locomotive and how much um, like fame this locomotive has. It's been featured in documentaries. It's been in a, it's been in movies. It's been almost all around the all around the. I almost. <laughs> I got myself there. I meant to say all around the country. Yeah, sorry about that. I almost said the wrong thing. <clears throat> But yeah, it's all—it's been all around the country, and it still operates to this day. And um, it has easily become—it has easily become my number one favorite steam locomotive of all time. Forty-four forty-nine is without a doubt my favorite steam locomotive, and I'm sure many of Many of the fans and rail fans agree with me and can't deny it. 4449 is great. If it wasn't for 4449, I probably would have never gotten so interested in steam trains. Or just any trains. So thanks to 4449, it made this possible. Long live that American Freedom Train locomotive in the beautiful daylight colors. 4449. And there you go. That was my top 10 favorite steam engines. Next episode, we will be discussing be discussing my top 10 favorite diesel engines but until then thanks for watching this video and once again thank you for 100 subscribers until then thanks for watching this video and until next time this is automatic signing off and once again amethyst productions in nevada you two are welcome on your shout out Good day. Have a great day.